Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, I'm going to show you the full process of installing the Windows subsystem for Android in Windows 11. And this will be an updated video because the last video that I've made is a little bit outdated and the process needs to be updated a bit so that you don't receive certain errors. I recently tried to install the Windows subsystem for Android and I saw that you can encounter some other errors along the way. Of course, I tried to find a solution, found a solution. In this video, I'm going to make an updated video on how to install the Windows subsystem for Android on Windows 11. In this video, I am using the latest version of the dev channel, which is the build 25126, but you can install the Windows subsystem for Android on the beta channel and on other versions as well. Be aware that only on the dev channel, you will be able to have the latest update to the Windows subsystem for Android, which I showed you a couple of videos ago. And of course, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the, this video's description to see what is new in that update for the Windows subsystem for Android, the dev channel of the Windows Insider program. Before starting the process, please don't forget to leave a like down below and also please don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell activated because only 8% of you who are watching my videos are actually subscribed to the channel and it would help me a lot if you subscribe to my channel. Now let's start the video. First of all, you need to meet some requirements. We will need to set the region to US because for now, the Windows subsystem for Android can be installed only on operating systems that have the region set to US. So for that we're going to open the search box and then open the settings app and in the settings app type in here region click on region settings and make sure on country or region you have selected united states also in the bios you will need to have the virtualization enabled for your processor this process is different for each and every one of you it depends on your processor and of course on your motherboard but if you don't know how to do it simply search your motherboard and processor and look how to enable the virtualization for the processor on google and you're going to see that everything is really easy to do. Another thing that we need to do is to enable Hyper-V and Virtual Machine Platform in Windows 11. For that, we're going to help on the search box and, and type in here Features, and then we're going to click on Turn Windows Features On or Off. Windows Features will pop up and make sure to enable Hyper-V, click on the plus and make sure everything is selected, and then scroll down and also enable the Virtual Machine Platform. Click on OK, wait for the Windows operating system to search for the required files and also apply the changes. After that, we're going to have to restart our computer for the changes to take effect. As you can see, Windows is customizing features for us and in a few seconds, we should be able to enter in the operating system again. Now in Windows 11, another thing that we need to do is to enable the developer mode. Click on the search box again, open the settings app and in here, search for developer. Click on developer settings and make sure developer mode install apps from any source, including loose files. Turn this on and then where it asks you turn on developer mode, click on yes. The next step would be to update the Microsoft Store. We need to be sure that we have the latest Microsoft Store update and all the packages that we are going to use are up to date. So open the search box again, type in here store, open up the Microsoft Store and then go in the left side and click on library. In the library, make sure to click on get updates and wait a bit because the Windows operating system will search for any app that has an update available. And of course, it will let us update it very easily. And as you can see in this case, Microsoft Microsoft Store found a lot of apps that need updating and the best thing to do is to click on update all and Microsoft will start updating all the apps. Be aware that this process can take up a while because certain apps need downloading and installing and the process could take up to 5 or 10 minutes. After the Microsoft Store is updated and all the apps are updated, we are good to go. We need to now start downloading the packages needed in order to install the Windows subsystem for Android. Now in the article down below in the description, you're going to have two links available. The one is the official link from the Microsoft Store for the Windows subsystem for Android. And you're going to have another link that will be store.rg-adguard.net, which is a website that we can use to download certain packages from the official Microsoft Store. Of course, users that are based in the US can simply go to the Microsoft Store and download the Windows subsystem for Android. But for users that are not located in the US, maybe in Europe or Asia, you will need to follow the process and the steps that I show you in this video. For this, I recommend you use the Microsoft Edge browser because everything is optimized for the Edge browser and just go ahead and copy the official link from the Microsoft Store for the Windows subsystem for Android and then paste it in the store.org website and from the right side select slow here and then click on the check mark. You're going to notice that down below you will see a lot of files appear and in the previous video that I've made we only needed to download the M6 bundle which would be the Windows subsystem for Android but now in addition to that we also need to download the Microsoft UI XAML package in order to be able to install 
install the Windows system for Android. Now, make sure that up top here, you select the version for your operating system, whether it is x64 or ARM. And also make sure that the extension is .appx. I'm gonna download the x64.appx because this is the one that I need. Just click on it and it will be downloaded if you are using the Microsoft Edge browser. And also we're gonna download the last one, Windows system for Android, make sure it is the .m6 bundle. You're gonna have to wait a bit for the process. And also if the Microsoft Edge browser blocks the files for security reasons, just keep the files because they are 100% safe as they are packages from the official Microsoft store. After the download process is finished, you should have these two files, the Microsoft UI XAML 2.6 and also the Windows subsystem for Android, the version 2203. This is not the latest version, but also in this video, I'm gonna show you how to update to the latest version if you are on the dev channel. Now, first of all, install the Microsoft.UI.XAML, double click on it and then click on install. It will be quickly installed. As you can see, it is ready, then click on close. Now you're gonna have to open up PowerShell, open the search box, type in here power, right click on PowerShell and then click on one as administrator and on your account control, click on yes. In PowerShell, you're gonna have to paste in this command, which is add appx package. You're gonna have this command in the article down below in the description. And after this command, you're gonna have to paste the location where you have the Windows subsystem for Android package downloaded. In my case, it is on desktop, right click on the file and then click on copy as path. Here, just right click to paste that and then press enter to install the Windows subsystem for Android. As you can see, it is processing. The process will take some time, maybe a few minutes because this is a pretty large package, but you'll be able to successfully install the Windows subsystem for Android if you use the process and the steps that I showed you in this video. Now, after the process is finished, the Windows subsystem for Android should be installed. You can delete these packages. If you search on Windows, you should have the Windows subsystem for Android installed, but we don't have the latest version. To update to the latest version, open up the Microsoft Store again, go to library, and then click on get updates to be able to update every app that you have on your operating system. And of course, with the Windows subsystem for Android, you can either install the Google Play Store or certain Android apps that you can test out. Everything is really easy to do. And if you want to do that, or if you don't know the process, you can check out certain videos that I've made on this channel with a lot of interesting apps or launchers that can easily help you install Android apps using the Windows subsystem for Android. I'm also going to try my best to leave you in the description down below a few links that will help you understand how the Windows subsystem for Android works and also how to easily install Android apps in Windows 11. As you can see, the Windows subsystem for Android is updating. Of course, it has a pretty big size. Just wait for it to be updated to the latest version and then we should be good to go. After the updating process is finished, you can open up the Windows subsystem for Android settings to view the settings and also if you click on about, you're going to see that we are on the latest version, which is 2204. This is the updated video on how to install the Windows system for Android in Windows 11. I hope you liked it and if you have any issues, please don't forget to leave a comment below stating your issue. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to also like the video and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, I wish you all a nice day.